How are you today? I am Deb. You are in the office with Deb. And today we're going to be talking Christmas organizing containers. Let's talk about the pros and the cons. Now, we've all got ornaments on our tree. Whoa, almost broke this one. This is one I made years ago, and it's got Let's give you a better picture. We've got little pieces of um, crayon in it. Crayon in it for you. So you could, you could see it better. If I could get it in the picture better. See the different colors? Now, this is not glass, luckily. Now, a lot of your ornaments are very precious. They're glass, they're, they're delicate. Some of you have them wrapped in tissue paper. Let's go ahead and talk about the first organizing container called the, or, the ornament box. You know that box, that big box, almost like a file, file system box. And it's got rolls of ornaments and it's got usually cardboard separation. For like about 12 to 24 ornaments depending on how wide your, your box you chose and it usually it's usually cardboard now that's all great it keeps them nice and safe keeps them all from hitting each other however i still recommend him put them in tissue paper my biggest 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 complaint with that ornament box is I can't stand the ones that are cardboard. Now, I like to switch my ornaments up every year. I don't necessarily put the same ones up every year. And it depends on who's doing the tree. Now, if I've got four roll of ornaments and I want to pick up the first layer, I cannot do that with the cardboard separations and the cardboard in the middle. It needs to be a solid, solid wood separation for me. I want to put all four wooden pieces out that contain the 24 ornaments each in each row and I want to see which one I'm able to choose. I don't want to have to take out the whole first row, take them all out to get to the second row. And if you try to lift that cardboard up, forget it. It does not work. You know what I'm talking about. I know you've been through this. Drop it in the comments if you went through this and you don't like those ornament boxes either. If you want to go on the ornament box, get one where you can lift the separate sections. Whether it be wood, I don't care if it's plastic, it could be plastic, but it needs to be a heavier duty plastic. So you could pick the whole and have your four separate sections that you could look through all your ornaments. Because if you're like me, there's certain ones you really want in the tree. You want to make sure they're there, that nothing's happened to them, even if you're not using them, some of them. I know I do that. That is my biggest complaint about the ornament box. Now, a lot of my ornaments, I don't really use the ornament box. I am lucky enough where, yes, I have some delicate um, ornaments, but they're in their own separate box. I've been very lucky with my ornaments as I have a box, like a shirt box, that's Christmas box, and I put the Christmas kitchen towel in there on the bottom. And I'll put tissue paper in between. I'll put some in, I'll crumple up some tissue paper in, and put it all in there. And it stays very nice for me. I've had very, very good luck with that. That is what I use and I love. And I could see all my ornaments. All I do is push back the little tissue paper and I could see all of them right there. And then I go get another shirt box that are dedicated for Christmas with the other ornaments, and I could see them all. Now, here's a little hint for you ladies. You know all those stocking, Christmas stockings you accumulated over the years, and all those extra kitchen towels? Well, first of all, take those Christmas stockings and stuff your little ceramics in it. This is a little ceramic boot I made years ago in ceramic class. 
that is what I use the stockings for. So then if it gets broke, it's contained in the stocking. If it gets grown broke by accident, it won't be all over the toe. And maybe I'll put a little, some tissue paper on it. Sometimes I'll put a second one on or newspaper and put a second, uh, second little ceramic item in there with it. It just depends. That is one of my tips. The um, you could also save kitchen towels for um, wrapping the bigger ceramic items. I don't have one right with me here right now to show you. But you know the bigger sand snowman or the Santa Claus that's about this size. Wrap it up in the kitchen towel. And then you can put it in your stocking too. Kitchen towels, old sheets are great for wrapping up all the, all the Christmas Better yet, old blankets or a blanket you don't like or a throw you're not fond of and you're like, I really can't stand this throw. I don't really don't want to throw it out because it's, you know, from a relative or whatever. But I, oh, I can repurpose it. I can use it for my decorations. Think out of the box a little bit on the containers. I also take my favorite organizing Christmas container is my red totes with the green lids. Honey, I want my Christmas containers. He doesn't even ask me which ones they are. He knows already. He, I, I don't have to tell him. They're this, they're this, or it's labeled this, it's labeled that. You got to read it. He just goes, looks for the red, and he's, he's done. He's bringing them in the house for me. That is the biggest help. Now, within those containers, those totes, I have the wrapped up ceramics, um, my ornaments. I kind of, I kind of watch how I pack them, and I pack the thing full, and I pack the ornaments closer to the top so that they don't get hurt. And I put again another kitchen towel on top before I put the lid on the tote, just for a little extra safety. Granted. They, my husband is good about not dropping toes, and we've been lucky with that or anything. So we've been good with that. Has occasionally something gets broke? Yes. For example, this year I had a snowman, and he was it was kind of old, and he was made of paper, but he was paper shape. It was really nice. It was it wasn't something that was made. It was made in the store. It was made beautifully. It was like an, a vintage snowman. I'm um, sorry, Santa Claus. It was about yo big. Now, when I pulled him out of the box, as delicate it was, it crumbled in my hand from age. There's nothing you can do about that. So I threw it out, and I'm like, I can't do nothing about it. I have to let it go. I can't have any regrets over it. It was an accident i barely even touched it i know i didn't just like grab it it just fell apart from age and sometimes the most treasured part things things that we have collection from our grandma parents and everything that does happen unfortunately and it is hard to let go but it's called old you know, it just it just lived its life, unfortunately. So now how do you contain your Christmas decorations? Are you putting them in a tote? How do you store your ornaments? Do you have an ornament box? How do you deal with those separate sections? Because when they're all cardboard, you can't lift that top layer up to see what's on the other one. I want to know how you take care of that and how you handle it. And ladies, I have opened the Organizing Your Home and Office for Productivity group. It's open year round now. You wanna get into it, let me know. January 1st, I'm gonna, we're gonna be doing a little push for that. We're gonna go through that. January 1st would be a great time to start. Clean your house, get your house clean going. We'll get that going. We'll get you start getting you organized. And you can organize, start with organizing your Christmas decorations. Look and ask me all your questions in the group. Ask me about them in the DM, private message me, whatever. And I will see you in the group. Ladies, thank you for your time. Bye.